Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. It is Tuesday, the 21st of November, so it's day 21 of my November 30-day Gratefully Prepared Challenge. And I thought I would jump on here. It is not noon, if you haven't noticed. It's just about 7 o'clock here in Pacific Standard Time. And uh, this is a crazy time. Um, it's our, still our hunting season. I'm washing dishes, so hopefully this is not too obnoxious, but I was hoping to accomplish some chores while I was talking to you today. Um, so you'll have to let me know if this is too loud and you can't hear me right, but uh, there's a fan running in the background too. But I hope you guys are good today. Um, I would love to know what you are grateful for. Um, I see a bunch of you joining me there. I'm going to try to bring this down just a touch. Maybe. I don't want to throw it in my sink. There we go. Okay. Um, what, what are you thankful for? Where are you from? What are you thankful and grateful for? Um, and are there areas of preparedness that you need some help? Uh, for those of you that are joining me on the replay, please join in. Leave your questions, uh, leave your thoughts, leave what you're grateful for. Um, the purpose of this challenge is to be uh, that we're both interacting together and that we're all doing this together because I feel that when we are more grateful in life and notice our blessings and notice the positive things in our life versus always being stuck on the negative, our lives are happier. Uh, we're more joyful, uh, we learn better, and that's why I threw in the preparedness side of things because I'd like to teach you as we go. So uh, my hope is, is that you're learning not only preparedness things, but also things that you may be overlooking that you should be grateful for. And today I'm going to share with you what I am grateful for. I am grateful for every day. Every day of my life is a blessing in one way or another. And the other beautiful part is when you have weird days, today was a weird day and I, I understand it was weird for not just me but other people as well. And when you have those weird days and odd circumstances happen, you know, we are in control and we have the ability to, okay, hey, I'm back and allow me to come back. Um, our connection is going to be funny tonight. Probably people are home and a lot of people are on my same tower, so it might cut in and out, so bear with me. But um, what I was saying is, you know, when things go awry in our day, one of the beauties of that is that we have the power to turn it around. So remember that. You know, not only can you be grateful for, you know, specific things and look at the positive in that regard, but when you have an unusual day, you personally have the ability to turn that day completely around and make it something different. So just remember that. The other thing that I am thankful for is leftovers. I love leftovers. You want to know why? Because I just got back from hunting not too long ago. Hey Chad, good to see you. Glad your mom's doing okay. Sending prayers your way for both of you. Um, I just got back from hunting and I've got major hat hair so that's why I kept the hat on. And um, Mountain Ben got his beard today. He got an, in Eastern terms, an eight pointer. In Western terms, he got a four by four. So got a nice size buck and they were taking care of processing that. I've got um, barbecue, no I don't have barbecue, I have chili. I have chili on, um, made that on Saturday. So we are having some leftover chil deer chili, which makes it really nice. I heated up the coffee. While I'm talking to you, I am washing some dishes. Uh, I had a very productive day and it made me decide to talk about two different things today in regard to preparedness. One, you're gonna be looking at me or thinking of them. Hey, I'm back again. It's letting me come back on. Okay, come on Facebook Live and Internet. Get along. All right. Um, the, the two topics, one you'll get, the one you're going to think I'm nuts and try to probably wonder why I'm correlating it with preparedness, but I think if you give me a second, you'll understand. I spent my day, last couple actually, in my office decluttering. I did a podcast, um, I think it was 161, so you can find that uh, by going to 
Hey guys, Tammy Trayer, TrayerWilderness.com. This is day 20 and 21 of our preparedness challenge, our gratefully prepared challenge. And this is take two. So I'll give it a few minutes and see if we can get some more people back on here. Facebook Live and my internet are not playing nice tonight. So I am stirring my chili here. We are having deer chili for supper leftovers that's one of the things I love today is leftovers hey Chad I'm back <laughs> so for those of you that are joining in on this one you might want to go back and watch the other part so that I, I'm not going to repeat it but you can watch the two different pieces and you guys on YouTube I'm going to piece it together but what I was saying before Facebook live so rudely disconnected me was that hang on I just I've grabbed you and just gave you a heck of a ride. Sorry. Okay. Um, if you are always in a disheveled state and you are trying to be positive and you're trying to be prepared, it's going to be really hard because you're going to be constantly fighting yourself. Now, I'm not saying that those of you out there that are not organized people have to change. And, but but it, it's something that can be done. You can go from being a non-organized person to an organized person. You can change your habits. It takes, they say, I believe it's 21 days to change a habit. But when you declutter and get garbage out of your life and get organi organization in your life, you'll know what kind of preparedness items you have, You'll be able to stay on top of it. Um, it'll just be so much easier for you. And you don't have the weight of clutter. People do not realize how much clutter in your life weighs you down and how much of a pleasure it is to get rid of clutter. I've got a pile, well, I've got multiple piles upstairs. I've got a pile to be uh, burned. I've got a pile to go to the thrift store to be donated. I've got a pile to sell and it feels really good to have that stuff organized and set aside and not to mention that my working hey it came back i'm so sorry hi janet good to have you joining me girl facebook live and my internet are really fighting tonight but i'm t i was talking about decluttering and how it can play a role in helping us to be more prepared for one, you're going to know the things you have in quantity because you're going to keep track of them and be organized because you're going to go to treyerwilderness.com slash newsletter and download my preparedness worksheets because there is are sheets in there to help you organize. And then I'm going to do a blog post tomorrow on decluttering and share some really awesome little tips with you on keeping track of things and keeping yourself in check. And I think they will help you greatly. So I look forward to sharing that with you because... I don't know what my life would be like if I would. Okay, now it's back again. I'm not going to put you through this pain tonight. I am going to do my best to be on at noon tomorrow. We have a job that we need to go out to, and I should have better connection out there tomorrow. So I was going to talk to you also about knives and guns. What a topic. Decluttering and knives and guns. Tell, tell me that they go together well. But anyway, well, that way you'd have more space for your guns and knives, right? So anyway. Tomorrow, I will talk to you about that, and I will talk to you about uh, what is in my. Okay, I will talk to you about what is in my day pack and two of the other items that I have in my rig right now that I feel are very worthy items. So, rather than put you through the pain of my internet connection, keep going in and out. Um, look for my decluttering post tomorrow, and I will. Do my best to see you at noon tomorrow, but be positive, uh, be gratefully prepared, tag us in your posts, um, share something that you're grateful for every day, encourage people to join me. We have a bunch of days left and I'm going to continue to, sh to remind you to be grateful every day, not just in November. Um, and also to be prepared, <laughs> mountain bends outside my window, I'm waving. Anyway. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen here on my homestead. So anyway, have a great evening. Um, if for some reason I can't get on tomorrow, I want to wish you all a very blessed Thanksgiving. And uh, just enjoy yourself. Okay, guys, take care now that I'm back on here. God bless, and I hope to see you.